So I'm Lydia Dimkovska. I'm from Macedonia, but I live now in Slovenia. I'm a writer, poet, essayist, and translator of Romanian and Slovenian literature in Macedonia. And I, am, I write in Macedonian only. As it is the first time in Japan. Before Okinawa, I was in Tokyo. I liked it very much, and now I'm here. <laughs> When I travel somewhere, uh, I think that I live in that place. So in Okinawa, I am living now. Uh, so for one week, my life will be spent here in Okinawa. And I hope to have a good home of Okinawa and to meet good people and to feel like at home because now I am at home in Okinawa. So from Okinawa, I expect everything uh, that I, I can expect from every home in the world. Actually, I didn't know anything about Okinawa when I arrived. I just imagined how it could be. Uh, and now, after almost six days spent in Okinawa, uh, I'm sure that I want to come again because in these six days actually I didn't really have time uh, to realize how many things uh, I have seen and uh, to settle down my impressions. Uh, but fortunately, uh, I tried every day uh, to keep a kind of uh, Okinawa diary <laughs> that is very precious for me. So when uh, I'm going to read this diary, I'm sure that it will be a big inspiration for me, uh, maybe for a short story or a poem or for the diary itself, I mean to literarize it and to, to publish it. It was my first uh, visit to Japan and I like it very much, but I have to say that here in Okinawa I don't really feel like I'm in Japan. Uh, so I don't know why, uh, maybe it's a mistake with me or something, but uh, I feel that I am in another place, I mean in another country, in another planet, you know, <laughs> because um, uh, Okinawa is something else. Uh, something that cannot be put in a, in a category of place, you know. And exactly in this I see the, the beauty and uh, the uniqueness of Okinawa. Uh, Okinawa is like a place uh, that I wanted uh, to visit, uh, a place of uh, tribes, a place of something very original, uh, of something of uh, originated, uh, from a very uh, domestic culture. So here the globalization is not so present at, as it is in uh, Tokyo. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy that Okinawa preserved this spirit of tradition, of uh, gods, uh, of everything that was uh, very normal in our past. I don't really like the globalization of our today's world because we lose the identity with all this globalization. So because of that, I like the Okinawa, uh, which is very local, but uh, in a way very open to all of us, so we can enjoy the local things in Okinawa like we are in Tokyo and enjoy the global things in Tokyo. So for me, it's the best experience and uh, the best mixture that could happen uh, in my stay in uh, Japan. There is a big difference between the residences I used to go because this residence is the uh, shortest one actually and we, we visited so many things in, uh, in this residence that I have never seen in the other residence uh, and I stayed for one, one month or two months at uh, other residences. Uh, I like this kind of residence uh, but I think that maybe it uh, should be uh, for one month. Uh, just to have time also to write, uh, to, to have also a public uh, event, uh, you know, to have uh, this mutual uh, communication with the local people, uh, to read to them and they to speak to you. Uh, it is very important actually for a residence, I think, from my experience. Uh, and, but this residence is a kind of uh, residence of a dream, you know, <laughs> so I cannot complain on anything, anything.
But from Okinawa, actually, I will take home, firstly, uh, our best friendship that uh, was born here with our uh, friends, uh, writers, who were here, Valid, Adam and Yasmin. Uh, I think that we were an amazing group of people uh, who met in the right time at the right place. Uh, so, for me, it is uh, the best gift uh, from Okinawa.